Hello and welcome back to Spirit Faro. Let's buy another upgrade. Loose spices. Thing to get from vending machine, don't you think? And now cafeteria. Okay. Good about that. Those are always linked places I'm supposed to play at. Why pull stamps though? This rock lies hidden among the reefs in the mud. Only a faint glow betrays its presence. It lies inside, abandoned and forgotten. But as I get closer, the noise hits me. Voices happy and sad, playful banks and clangs. In the ship live a great many deal of faceless shades. Mother and father, and little brothers and sisters. A cacophony that is enticing and dreadful at once. Really though, why, why, why is that happening? This escapes me. It is prote proteiform and anatol. I don't know. Eyes insubstantial. It has a ghostly quality that I cannot easily understand, and it seems to actively resist focus. It takes some conv convincing for me to accept it for what it is. An echo of a previous self, remnants and devoured by the depths, unaware of them even. A treasure and incommensurable. Incommensurable value. I made it with cautious curiosity. I'm using such hard words, please. And suddenly, I'm filled with sadness. I realize or remember one essential sure of that, but perhaps I would rather not remember. The blow before me executes a chaotic happiness, a family put together by the conflicts and laughter. the blow and remove the ghastly lone shade from it. Nothing of the composition would be affected. Unnoticed and untouched. Okay, I just saw trees change. It was a huge change. Okay. 
it's not run down anymore. Yes, everything seems to be fixed. Oh, I won't find the machine. This place took me in. You would not have recognized me. Sunpor sunburn cracked, bursting at the seams. Mine bolted with the muddy faults of the self and the other. As useless detritus, detritus brought back from the depths. But as they came to understand the efficacious ones, for a while they could not see the raging ocean with its winds and tempests and its waves that they was forced to go in, leaving me hurt and sickly. They seemed to understand that I should not be allowed to sink, but this was a trip I would not survive. They are different, nearly as old. They move quickly. They wear soft gloves and velvety shoes. They secretly, they secretly busy themselves around me. An unseen army of shades and ghostly servants, always making sure that I never go wanting. But of a different kind. You are the only one who understands the sea. But it is not something to be scared of, but a miracle to be celebrated. A reliquary of strange and alien treasures, overwhelming in an otherworldly beauty. Only you can explore this strange world with me. An anchor, a boy, and a lifeline at all at once. Thank you, Stella. Yeah, I was gonna buy that. You stole my precious 
Luigi, Mario, sticky puppy. Mm. I have my name written on it and everything. Just my luck. Half the time they get stuck coming down mm. the machine because they're so sticky. Oh, I wasted so much time and effort trying to get a delicious puppy. You just get it on your first mm. try. No fair, get it back. Please, please, please. Listen, we can try for it. Okay? Mm. Thanks so much. Mario, sticky puppy is the only thing that soothes my toothaches. Oh, sweet teeth, puppy. That was fast. Thank you. I'm a mess if there's still a queue after all that. Get our fix now? Nope. Mm. I can probably recognize this place. It's a good kind of beige now. It is still just a mm -hmm. hospital. And see, I told you that the vending machine was magic or something. I'm so happy, mm. no? But super creepy. What? An all powerful snack is master capable of changing the laws mm. of physics. You don't find that that's creepy. You're right. Mm. What am I even saying? That's not possible. <laughs> I probably just need glasses. Mm. Yeah, that's it. I'm just playing mm -hmm. now. Firebrook is just a totally normal hospital and can't see properly. I won't question it any longer now. Thank you, I suppose. Let's see what something happened to... Nope. Silver rings. how you do that and that's amazing. What's on your favorite fruit? Hey. Yes, miss. And oh I thought it was someone else. Student, I have another teaching for you and you're tough enough to not be broken. I need you to take me to the other door. You're equipped to do so now. You don't need to say more until we get there. Peace. Quiet. That is good practice. It starts now. Oh. You're miserable and I'm sorry about that. Okay. okay. Um, brain salad? Thank you for the meal. I'm gonna hug you. I never really felt useful teaching the gifted ones, nor did I take pleasure in breaking the spirits of the weak ones. Seeing them just struggle, not knowing why these challenges were forced upon them. They did this to themselves. They had to be there in class. They had to they had one task to listen. They were barely able to do that. And I loved every second of it. Because through hardship they would learn. Learn how to survive. Learn how to be better. Learn how to stop being burdens and become leaders. I'm not gonna take you to effort or you're not happy. No, hummingbird. We're finally going to hummingbird. Hummingbird. And that's it. I'm not sending anyone to effort all. Not before I find another person. I still need to get their dolls. Then we go to Villa Marjorie, then we go to Hoseki Quarry. And that's it. Wait, too soon. And why are you not getting happier? Please be happy. You didn't want anything in your room, so I didn't give you anything. It was a mistake. But you said so yourself. You don't want anything in your room. I'm 
just trying to... I listen to you. I don't want to make you happy against your will. That's not how it works. Okay. Never mind. Be right back. See you in Hummingbird. Okay, we're here. Let's look for that guy for back. Did you? No, not the door. No, I guess not. I guess he would move. You ah, back is fine already. About time. I've spent all my pocket money on glitter dice. I'm more than ready. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <coughs> I am the might and drill of the. Oh, screw it. I'm drawn, okay? I know I should be in character, but whatever. Mm. Oh, what's the riddle? Mm? Mm. I see. This one's a doozy. I need to think about it. But I'm sure I'll figure out where to go. Mm. Thanks! Wait, wait, let's look for that guy who was supposed to be here. Okay, I guess he's not home anymore. Well, whatever. I still need to look for <laughs> that. Uh, for raspberries, for blackberries, I think. Right. I don't need to talk to Bug, but we'll do it later. And Villa Marjorie, here we come. Okay. I really don't want to get food, so. See you on the spot. Be right back again. Oh my god. Okay. So we are at the Ville. Villa. Right now. Hopefully the gardener isn't asleep. Hmm. Because I guess no one thought about that. And he's not. Oh. You're back. It's been a minute. Oh. Me? No, I've been fine. Not lonely at oh. all. Just fine. I got this little shack. My things are in there. My toothbrush, my dry socks. Oh. I've got it going on. Yeah, my life is pretty great. Oh. It's good you keep checking up on me. I'm totally fine. Been fine for a while now. Oh. Nothing says fine like living out here. Next to an empty mansion. Sleeping in this oh. tiny shack. No running water. No electricity. During the squirrels having fun at oh. night. It's the best! Okay, I give up. I'm lonely, so very lonely. I hate being by myself. No one listens to my jokes. Knock knock, who's there? No one. It's terrible. You gotta help me out. I might start knitting at any time. You gotta find me a better job than this. I need a better roof than this one. I can see the stars, but birds can also watch me sleeping. I see. That's interesting. I've never heard of Overbrook, Overbrook, and it comes with free room and board. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I can't say no to that. I already spilled the beans on being miserable and lonely. Coincidentally, I also spilled beans on my sleeping bag, so the timing could have been more perfect. Hmm. You got me. I need to start being less honest. Okay, I'll go. Hmm. Let me pack my things and say goodbye to my woodlawn friends. I'll meet you at Overbrook. Okay, next one was... Kosaki Quarry. It sounds kind of Asian, but I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's. It's the one we visited. The one you hear. Let's see. That's not a quarry, but I'm gonna check it out anyway. Iwashima Countryside, from Kuroyama. Kosaki Quarry! What did I tell you? Back! Commander! This is actually fantastic! The Silver Company has answered the call once again! We will soon trap traps once more on the Elysium Fields of Adventure! May the 11 stars bless your heart, Commander! You truly have been an indomitable herald of bravery! Now, our next step will lead us to a shaft tavern! The naked mober in nestled in the frozen mist of the white hamlet of Nord Whaler. But before our appearance at the mysterious premises, there is a little something we should accomplish, Commander. I certainly am entertaining the consequences. Yeah, we cannot come empty-handed. 
That wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, look. We should bring munchies, otherwise everyone will be miserable. Let's say some popcorn. A corn would be nice too. Oh yeah. What does it? Tuffy! Yeah, that should do it. Alright. How was I already? Oh, yeah. This undertaking might very well be below your level, Commander, but it shall be a well-earned respite in our quest for justice and glory. Onward! Oh, thank you. Maybe we should be able to make some... How many do you want? Popcorn? Oh, just plain popcorn. Yeah, I don't remember how to make corn dog. I guess it was pork and corn. Sounds kind of right. For coffee, I would say sugar. Okay, I can mash seeds, and I wonder what we will get. Nothing good. Nothing good. Yeah, so after that we'll go to the North Whaler. Well, if I'm able to make coffee, that is. If not, then we have to figure something out. We can go back south via Alex's bus stop. Maybe get some strawberries. Maybe get some blackberries or blueberries because I can never remember which one we are supposed to get. Supposed to do. Chef. Who are we looking for a chef in such a place? Mm -hmm. Nope. No one I'm looking for. Especially since this place is huge! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really, really, I pressed it. Thank you. No, there's a secret. Only a secret over there. Over there. Nothing up here. You? Yes, I've been working in this mine since before I was born. My mom worked here. My dad worked here. My granddad. Well, you get it. I don't know if I would ever leave. Work at the Overbrook Hospital? In the kitchen! I see. Cooking is like hitting rocks. I'm sure. Those two things sound very different. You do make a compelling argument. You sure have a way with words. And that voice. Well, I'm sold on the idea. And I'm sure all the other workers will be too. Trouble is, we can just up and leave. We need people to cover our posts. Wait! Wait! I've got it! Wait! No, I just lost it. Wait! No, wait, I got it! What if instead of people we use dummies? We just need to dress up scarecrows filled with hay and stuff in our work clothes. They'll look like regular employees, but they will move. I'm sure the Recon Inc. Mining Co. won't know the difference. Plus, an added, as an added benefit, dummies won't, don't need to eat. Pure lunch breaks, more productivity. It's a win-win situation. They won't talk back either. They will be the perfect employees. We just need to find some material to stuff into these dummies. So, go out and get everything. Some wood, some linen, a couple carrots. Yeah, that could work. Oh yeah, this is totally a great plan. I can't wait to start hitting food and make real cleaner art. Come back when you have all the material. So. 
Oh, good job. <laughs> You've got it all. I'll get everyone together and we'll make the dummies. You'll make them look real. Dragon Ink Mine Co. won't be able to tell the difference. When they realize that all the mining operations have stopped, it will be too late. We'll be free and ready to make some nice cannoli. Thanks for this new exciting career opportunity. See you in the kitchen at Overbrook. Nope, wrong way. I really appreciate this this stash ability. <sighs> really, yep. There is still a one Daria has expressed her desire to receive your visit. Regards. Over Bruce caretaker. Okay, so we're visiting Alex after all. And actually I think that's a very good place to end this part. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive. See you soon and see you at Overbrook. Bye!